Hello, hello, good evening, everyone. Hello, Luis. Hello, Walter. Hello, Isidro. Luis, Mario. Hello, hello, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. What about you? How are you? Hello, hello. Hi, everybody. How are you? How was the day today? Good evening, everybody. <laughs> hey, Walter. What's up? Hi, Isidro. Very good. And you? What did you do today? Yesterday. Today, yesterday. <laughs> yesterday, uh, I was work very hard. Hey, teacher. What did you oh, do okay. today? What? <laughs> Hello, uh, today was a very busy day. So I have some, a lot of classes today, right? But we are here to learn a lot and happy to see you again tonight. Alpha, welcome to the class. Good evening. Hello, hello, good evening. Be welcome to the class. Just a second. Okay, uh, what was yesterday's topic? Do you remember? What was yesterday's topic? Isidro, your microphone. I'm sorry, I always forget it. Regular and irregular verb teacher. Okay, actually we study regular verbs and we study some rules to add ED to regular verbs and also the ED pronunciation at the end of this verb. So let me put, let me write my name here and then we're going to start with the class tonight. Hey, how are you doing on the platform? ¿Cómo vamos en la plataforma? ¿En qué sección va? En la cuarta. Estoy avanzando, teacher. En la tercera voy yo. Ah, ok. Section 3. ¿En the rest of the class? Section 4. Section 4. Very good. 4.1. 4. 4. You did 4. Oh, you are you're already starting. Uh, starting the section number 4. Ok, so... Uh, don't forget about the platform exercises. It is important that you complete those exercises in the evaluation, right? So remember that you have to accomplish at least the 80% if you want to get your diploma, right? So it's the 80% that we are looking for. We are working to get that, that percentage, but if you can do it 100%, it is going to be okay too, right? So don't forget about the platform, it is important. And don't forget that if you have any problems solving those exercises, you can write on the WhatsApp, in the WhatsApp group and we're going to be happy to help you. So don't forget about that, please. So do you have any question? Do you have any question tonight about any exercises on the platform? No questions? Everything is okay? No, by the moment for my part. Okay, very good. So feel free to write on the WhatsApp group if you have any question. So let's start with today's class and we're going to remember something. So I'm going to share with you this whiteboard, this digital whiteboard. So let's see. Okay, let me know if you can see the whiteboard. Yes. Yes, yes okay. We can, we can see. Yes, okay. we can see it. Thank you very much. So yesterday we were learning when to add the ED, ED sound to the verb. So we were talking about regular, regular verb, regular verb. So what I need to add to the following verbs. El siguiente verbo es un verbo regular. Iréis. Iréis. Eh, this Iréis. is in, in present, right? Iréis, borrar. So what I need to make it in simple pass. 
I'm going you to, need to uh, add D. Add the letter D. Okay, I need to add the letter, the letter e D. Erase. Excellent, erase. And how are we going to pronounce this? ¿Cómo voy a pronunciar este verbo? Erased. 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 It's with Erased. T sounds. Erased. With T sound at the end. With T sound at the end. Excellent. What about the next? Pain. The verb pain. What I need I to make it e into e simple past tense. Okay, e we're going to you add ED. E e e pain. E now, how e I'm going e to pronounce this? Sound like T sound, D sound, or E sound. Paint. Painted. Painted. Excellent. We're going to use E D E sound. Painted. E Be because this verb ends in T sound. Los verbos que terminan yeah. en sonido de T y en sonido de D, we're going to use E sound. E D. Yes. E so painted. 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 What about the Walter, next? you know what I mean? You know what I mean? <laughs> Sophie. What about the next one? Let's see <laughs> this. Let me write the word. It's a moment. Uh, answer. 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 What, I, what I need to add to make this verb into past tense. ED, you add ED, I think. ED, okay, I'm sure. Very good. And I'm going to pronounce this past tense as T sound, D sound, or it sound. T. It sound or D What is sound? the sound at the end of that? Answer, it is yes. answer, answer. Uh -huh. is what our is, sound. What is like that? Our sound. What is the sound at the end? It's the R sound. See, answer. Answer. Okay, R, R sound. Answer. Okay, with the R at the end. Yes. Answer. All right. <laughs> so you say answer, and then we're going to pronounce like D sound, right? Answer. Answered. Very good. Answered. I can see that you forget. Answered. You don't forget about this. What about the next? Okay. Let me see. I have it here another bird. This one. Close. What Close. I need to add Close. to make it into past tense. Only add letter Just add D. D. Letter okay. D. So Excellent. Yes. Add letter D. Closed. Perfect. With the T at the end, oh, with the T at the end, closed. Letter D. Okay. Um, sound T. Sound T, excellent. Closed. Very good. Closed. And the next one, let's see. This is one. Stay. 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 What I need Stay. to have to this bird to make it in the past ten. E, yeah, I think you are oh, ED. Yeah. What the other people say? ED, state it. Yes, you're yes, right. You need to add the letter ED. State okay. it. Okay. ED, ED is sound. ED sound. Very good. Excellent. State and what about the next it. one? What about the next one? Try. <laughs> the better try. Shop. Shop. Right. Okay, excellent. Oh, yeah. We take off the Y, the letter Y, and we add I E D. So it is in this way. Try it. Try it. Excellent. Try it. Excellent. Shop. So it is sound at the end. Uh, yes, it is sound. Try it. Try it. Try it. Try it. Try it with this sound, right? Try it is with this sound. Try it. Oh, this sound. Try it. Yes. This sound. All right. Okay, Tried. so take a look, right? Take a look of the bear list that I already sent to you on the WhatsApp group. And we're going to find a lot of examples, right? 
Uh, on the list, you are going to see that they are divided, right? They are divided by the sound, right? With regular bears and in E sounds, with regular bears and in T sounds and D sound. And also you are going to find a list of irregular bears. And that is the topic for tonight. Let me share with you my presentation of tonight, irregular bears. Here we are. I'm sharing my screen with you. Let me know, please, if you can see it. Let me know if you can already see it. Simple pass and irregular verbs. Yes, we can see it, teacher. Okay, thank you. Yes, second. Simple pass using irregular bird. As I said yesterday, irregular bird don't follow up any rules. This type of bird don't follow up any rules to make the simple past tense, right? So we need to learn them from a list. So, okay. Okay, look at these examples. Uh, look and listen, right? I'm going to play here this for you to listen this example. I did my homework. I didn't do laundry. You got up at noon. You didn't get up at 10 o'clock. He went to the museum. He didn't go to the library. We met our classmates. We didn't meet our teacher. You came home late. You didn't come home early. They had a picnic. They didn't have a party. Okay, now look at these examples. They are in simple past with irregular verbs. The verb did is the simple past of which verb? Do you remember? Do. Excellent, do, yes. So I did my homework. It says, yo hice mi tarea, right? I didn't do laundry. Yo no lavé la ropa. Si ven al final de la imagen, está toda la ropa sucia. I did my homework. I didn't do laundry. Uh, the next example, it says, you got up at noon. You got up at noon. Got up is the simple pass of which pair? Get up. Get up. Very good. So you didn't get up at 10 o'clock. Uh, he went to the museum. He went to the museum. He didn't go to the library. Uh, él fue al museo. Él no fue a la biblioteca. The next one, we met our classmate. We met our classmate, but we didn't meet our teacher. Conocimos a nuestros compañeros, pero nosotros no conocimos a nuestro profesor. You came home late. You didn't come home early. They had a picnic. They didn't have a party. So look at this, the simple past, don't follow any rules. So did, do, go up, get up, when, go, had, have, came, come, met, meet. So listen again, these examples, affirmative sentences and also negative sentences. I did my homework. I didn't do laundry. You got up at noon. You didn't get up at 10 o'clock. He went to the museum. He didn't go to the library. We met our classmates. We didn't meet our teacher. You came home late. You didn't come home early. They had a picnic. They didn't have a party. So let's see, any volunteer to practice in the first two sentences? Who wants to try reading those sentences? Any volunteer tonight? Yes, yes. Thank you, Alpha. Tell me. <laughs> I did my homework. I didn't do laundry. Excellent. I did my homework. I didn't do laundry. Any volunteer to read the next? 
Any volunteer? Thank you, Jose Leonardo. You can start. You get up at noon. You didn't, didn't get up at 10 o'clock. Excellent. Thank you very much. The next one, any volunteer, please? Any volunteer? Then I went to choose somebody. Let's see who is in here. The teacher. Thank you, Luis. You can start, please. Okay. He went to the museum. He didn't go to the library. Excellent. For the next, any other volunteer? Me, teacher. Thank you, Jonathan. We meet our classmates. We did meet our teacher. Excellent. Thank you. Any volunteer for the next? Me, teacher. Thank you. You cool. came home later. You did come home early. Excellent. You came home late. You came home late. You didn't come you home early. Late. Thank you very much, you Alexis. Thank you very much. And for the last one, any volunteer? Hello, any volunteer? Can I with this? Is the last one. Good picture. Thank you, Walter. They have a picnic. They didn't have a party. Okay, perfect. Thank you. So let's see. I did my homework. Simple pass with the regular pair. So look at this. Unfortunately, there isn't any rule to form the simple pass of irregular verbs. You have to learn them from a list and you have to memorize every single verb pass form. Take a look of the following verb. Look at this. Do, the simple pass is did. Get up, go out. Go, when, meet, met, come, came, have, had. I have here these examples. I did yoga yesterday. You got up early. He went to the shopping mall. She met her classmate. We came home early. They have a birthday party. So every bird has its own form in the simple past. Right? So it is important that you learn them from a bird list. And I have shared one with you. Right? So how to make affirmative sentences. We are going to use the same structure that we learned yesterday to make affirmative sentences in simple past. We are going to need a subject plus a verb in simple past tense plus a complement. So look at this example. I did my homework. This is an affirmative sentence. So here I have the subject. In the verb in simple past, in this case is do, in the simple past form is did, my homework is the complement. You could have up noon, you is the subject, then I have the verb in simple past tense and the complement at noon. He went to the museum, he is the subject, when is the verb in simple past tense and to the museum is gonna be the complement in the sentence. We met our new teacher. Uh, again, we is the subject, met is the verb in simple past. Our new teacher is the complement and I already have a sentence in simple past tense. They came home late. They came home late. They is the subject, came is the verb in simple past. Home late is the complement. So you had a picnic. You is the subject, had is the verb in simple past tense. A picnic is a complement. And this is the structure I'm going to use to make affirmative sentences, right? Don't forget about this subject, a verb in simple past tense plus a complement. And you are going to have a sentence in simple past tense. Now let's practice. Do you know the correct past form of the following verbs? Look at this very it, sing, take, find, see, may, sit, and write. Do you know the meaning of all of them? What is the meaning of it, for example? Do 
do you, do you know the meaning of the verb eat? Comer. Thank you. Comer. And do you remember what is the simple past tense? Eight. 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 Excellent. The next is sing. Do you know what is the meaning of this? Sing. Cantar. Cantar. Excellent. And what is the simple past tense? Song. Song. Mm -mm. No. It is no, a song. It's a thing. Talk. The thing with the thing the. Uh, no, sorry. This is an irregular verb. We cannot add ed. So we are no, going to discover sing. that later. It is sun, right? S A N T. Sun. Sun. Take. What about take? What is the take. meaning of take in Spanish? Do you know the answer? Tomar. Take. Tomar. Tomar. Take. Tomar. Okay. okay, very good. And the simple past tense of this verb? Took. 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 Perfect. What about find? Find. Found. 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 Found, Found is the Found. simple past. Yeah, the meaning is encontrar. See, the verb C. So. so. So, very good. So, a make. Made. Made. Make. Made. Make. Make. Made. Sit. 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 I don't remember, I don't remember. Okay, it's sad. It's sad. And sad. finally, finally we have right. What is yeah, it? Growth. Growth. Let's see if you're Broad. right. So it a Broad. sing sun, take took, find, made. found, so see, so Broad. make, made, <laughs> sit, sat, right, growth. Very good. Now let's see. I have here some examples. Any volunteer to read these examples? I ate a K. Yeah, thank you very much. I ate a K. Perfect. So I, what I is the a... I ate a K. Yes, you are right. So what is the meaning of this sentence? Yo comí pastel. Okay, excellent. And the next one was. We sang too much last night. Canta, nosotros cantamos mucho la noche anterior. La noche anterior. Okay, excellent. Any volunteer to read the next one? I took an English class yesterday. Thank you very much. I took Barbaro. an English class yesterday. Thank you. And the next <laughs> one? The next one. Any volunteer to read the next example? I found your case under the table. Thank you, Luis. I found your keys under the table. Oh, ¿dónde, ¿Dónde estaban las llaves? ¿Abajo o encima? De la mesa. De, sobre la mesa. Under. What is under? under? La mesa. Oh, debajo. Oh, Excelente. Sobre la mesa. Sobre. La mesa. sobre? Mm -mm. Bajo la mesa. Under. Bajo, under. La, bajo la mesa. On, on the table. La llave bajo la, bajo la mesa. mesa. Excellent. The next, the next. Any volunteer to read the next? He saw the, he saw the, the new movie yesterday. With the new movie yesterday. Thank you. He saw the new movie yesterday. Very good. The next one, make, made. Any volunteer? It was delicious. She, she made the cake. It was delicious. Okay, she made a cake. It was delicious. Thank you very much. Any volunteer to read the next one? Yes, I sat on I the old broke. chair and it broke. Excellent. I sat on the old chair and it broke. So what happened there? What happened in that example? Se, se quebró una vieja silla. Okay, me senté en la silla. Me senté en la silla vieja y se. Se quebró. Y se quebró. 
Thank you. The next one, he wrote a letter to his wife. He wrote a letter to his wife. He wrote a letter to his wife. Okay. Él escribió una carta a su esposa. Ahora ya no es una carta, yeah. it's a text. He wrote a text to his wife. It's a, mes a message. Okay, a message. An email. Very good. Okay. So look at the bird. Every single bird has its own simple pass form, right? They don't follow up any rule. How to make negative statements or negative sentences using irregular. It's the same, right? As regular bird. We are going to need this structure, subject, did, auxiliary did, plus not, and the contraction is didn't, bear in the present, and the complement. So any volunteer to read the first example, the first example, please. I didn't, I didn't take my picture. Excellent, thank you. I didn't take many pictures. It's a negative sentence, right? I is the subject, didn't, the verb in present, many pictures is the complement. Thank you. Any volunteer to read the next one? He told me did speak Spanish. Thank you, Jonathan. Excellent job. The tour guide didn't speak Spanish, just English, right? And another language, but not Spanish. The tour guide didn't speak Spanish. <coughs> Any volunteer to read the next one? She didn't go fishing. She didn't go fishing. Excellent. What is the subject in this sentence? She. Uh, and what is the verb? Go. Did. Did. Go. go. Go is the verb. Thank you. And it is go. in present. Right? Go. 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 Excuse me, can you repeat your question, Senia? Um, donde dice she didn't go finish. Ella no finalizó, sería. Oh, it is no finish. Fishing. It's fishing. Ella no fue de pesca. Yes. Ah, Ella no fue no, de no, pesca. No leí bien. Okay, <laughs> no, no sí. problem. Don't worry about that. It's fishing. <laughs> eh, the next <laughs> one. Ella no fue de pesca. Yes, that is the right meaning of the sentence. Uh, any volunteer to read the next sentence? You didn't eat fruit. Thank you, Jose Leonardo. You didn't eat fruit. And the next one, any volunteer to read the next one? They didn't do their homework. Thanks a lot. They didn't do their homework. Ellos no hicieron their sus home. tareas. They home. didn't do their homework. And the last one, and the last one. Anyone in here to read the last one? It's just the last one. We didn't buy a new smartphone. Thank you. We didn't buy a new smartphone. No compramos un teléfono inteligente nuevo. We didn't buy a new smartphone. Estamos Where esperando la... Estamos esperando las promociones del 14. <laughs> okay, now let's continue. So don't forget about this structure to make negative sentences in simple past. Subject, didn't, verb in the present. No se les olvide, right? Que el verbo es en presente, ya no en pasado. The verb is in the present and the complement. In a complement. So that is the structure we are going to follow to make negative sentences in simple past tense. Now look at this. How to make yes, no questions. Yes, no questions. We are going to need this structure. We are going to write the auxiliary did at the beginning of the sentence. We are going to write did. Then we need the subject. In this case is you. We are going to need the verb in present. The verb in present. In this case, is go. And a complement. In este caso, sería shopping on the weekend. And the question mark. It's important. El signo de pregunta. So, auxiliary did, 
subject, verb in present, complement in the question mark. So look at this example. Did you go shopping on the weekend? Did you go shopping on the weekend, Isidro? Um, yes, yes, yes. Yes, okay. I did. Okay, very good. So yes, I did. Did you go shopping on the weekend, Alpha? Uh, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. Very good. Did you go shopping on the weekend, Walter? No, I didn't, teacher. No, you didn't. Did you go shopping on the weekend, Adonias? No, I didn't, teacher. Adonias, did you go shopping on the weekend? Adonai, are you there? I remember. Yes, yes, I, I, yes I, I did. did. Yes, I did. Yes, Very I good. Did. Entonces, Very good. Eh, okay. Si la pregunta es para nosotros, sería, did you, ¿verdad? Did, did you go you? shopping? Did you go shopping on the weekend? And the answer is, yes, I did. No, I didn't. Yes, si, I did. es, no, I did. si es en tercera persona, did he, he go to the beach last vacation? Did él, he. ¿Fue él a la playa las vacaciones pasadas? Did he go to the beach last vacation? Then we are going to answer using... Yes, he did. Yes, he did, or yes, no, he, did. he didn't. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. Did she eat eggs and beans for the breakfast? Oh, we are yes, talking about yes. she. Comió ella eh, frijoles y huevos para el desayuno? Then you say, yes, she did. No, yes, she, she did. didn't. No, she didn't. Did they write a letter? Escribieron ellos una carta, then you say, yes, they did. No, they. Yes, they did. No, no they, they didn't. didn't. No, they didn't. didn't. No, they didn't. No, they didn't. Okay, now in the next conversation, we are going to find some example of this. So it's a conversation between Laura and Erica. So we're going to listen to this conversation, pay attention to the pronunciation and also the intonation. And then we're going to look for yes, no questions, examples in these conversations. Just a second. Here we go. So did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Really? Did you like it? Oh, yes, we loved it. Did you go hiking there? No, we didn't. Actually, we rode horses, and we also went whitewater rafting on the Colorado River. Wow, did you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great time. Okay, very good. Uh, which are some examples of yes, no question in this conversation? Can you read the question? Examples of yes, no question in this conversation. Any examples of this? Did you, did you yes, like I it? I did. Okay, did you like it? This is the first one. Did you like it? Did you like it? Te gustó. Did you go? Did you go anywhere last summer? Excellent. Did you go anywhere last summer? Any did other example? Hiking. How did you have fun? Did you go hiking oh. there? Okay. Hiking did you there. have fun? Did you have fun? Those are examples of yes, no question. Now, what is the conversation about? Any idea what is this conversation about? Yes. Tell me, what are they talking about? The um, the girls they are speaking about what uh, did they do on last vacation last summer? Uh, she goes to the Grand Canyon. 
Okay, excellent. You're right. Thank you very much. Yes, right. They, they are talking about the activities they did the last summer vacation and how Erica visited the Grand Canyon in Arizona. So let's listen again. And then we're going to have a couple of you practicing this conversation. So did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Really? Did you like it? Oh, yes, we loved it. Did you go hiking there? No, we didn't. Actually, we rode horses and we also went whitewater rafting on the Colorado River. Wow, did you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great time. Okay, can you tell me which are some examples of irregular birds in this conversation? Irregular birds in simple past. Road. 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 Excellent. Road is one. Perfect. Road. Es, el pas es el pasado del verbo right. Right. In Spanish. Very good. Any other? So. How. How. Had. We excellent. Have. Had. So. Very good. When we had a great time. When is another good example. When okay, excellent. So do you have any question about the vocabulary in this conversation? Any new work in this small conversation? No new word. Oh, for example, what is why water rafting? Yes, why water rafting? Why water rafting is the sport rafting. on the picture, right? Is this a sport? Es como navegar en los rápidos, en los ríos con aguas muy rápidas y descender sobre esos ríos, ¿verdad? una pequeña canoa, como la de la imagen. That is why water rafting is a little bit dangerous sport. Right? Would you like to practice this sport? Why water rafting? Les gustaría no, practicar. I don't think so. Dangerous <laughs> sport. No, yes, it is. Tell me. Teacher, hiking. 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 You go hiking is eh, tomar una caminata. Ir a caminar. That is hiking. Hiking is hacer caminatas largas. Hiking. Claro, ahí. Eh, do you like eh, going hiking? There. Hiking. Hiking there. Les gusta ir a caminar a la For the health. health. Yes, right. To the park, to the mountain. Yes. So it's health. It's good for the health. Yes, it's healthy. Hiking is healthy. Uh, it's a healthy activity. Very good. Now I need to volunteer to practice in this small conversation. Who wants? Who wants to be Laura? Who, who wants to be Erica? No volunteers tonight. Laura. No volunteers tonight. For a moment. Oh, do, you, do you want you want to read someone read it? Yes, please okay. to, to practice this conversation. Okay, okay. Are you Who in wants... Isidro? Yes. Are you in? Okay, thank you. Any other volunteer? Me, teacher. Thank you, right. Alpha. Thank you very much. I really appreciate your help. Thanks a lot. So can you please start Isidro and then Alpha, please? Okay, Alpha, here we go. Just be ready. Yeah. So, okay. So, did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Really? Did you like it? Oh, yes, we love it. Did you go hiking there? No. We didn't actua actually, we rode horse. And we also went 
cry water rafting on the Colorado River. Wow! Did you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great time. That was pretty good. Was, that was pretty good. That was an outstanding job. Very good. That was almost perfect. Nice work, guys. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it was very nice. Thank you. So what about this word? How do you pronounce this one? Why weather rafting? Actually. Yeah. Actually. Why weather rafting? Actually. 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 And what is Actually. the meaning? What is the meaning of this word? Actualmente. No, I'm sorry. It is no. not actualmente. It means Actually, what does mean? en realidad. It means en realidad. It is a cognate, right? Es una okay. palabra que se parece al español, but it's not the right meaning. So actually means en I'm realidad. I'm going to write it. Actually. actually. Yes, that is the meaning of actually. Actually, en realidad. Actually, yes. I'm studying English. Okay, en realidad, yo estoy estudiando inglés. Pretty good, teacher. Thank you very much. A new yeah. word. Okay. A new word for, for learn. Okay, thank you. So, thank you, Isidro. Thank you, Alfa. Let's continue with the class. Let's go with the next thing. Okay, look at this. And here are the question and answer that we saw on the conversation. So look at these examples. We are going to read them. So pay attention, please. Here we go. Just a second. Here we go. Simple past yes, no questions. Did you have a good summer? Yes, I did. I had a great summer. Did you play volleyball? No, I didn't. I played tennis. Did Erica like her vacation? Yes, she did. She liked it a lot. Did Erica and her sister go to Colorado? No, they didn't. They went to Arizona. Okay, now look at the first question. Did you have a good summer? Yes, I did. I had a great summer. Did you play volleyball? No, I didn't. I played tennis. Did Erica like her vacation? Yes, she did. She liked it a lot. Did Erica and her sister go to Colorado? No, they didn't. They went to Arizona. Uh, listen again, and I'm going to need two volunteers to practice um, question and answer. So pay attention to the pronunciation, please. Simple past yes, no questions. Did you have a good summer? Yes, I did. I had a great summer. Did you play volleyball? No, I didn't. I played tennis. Did Erica like her vacation? Yes, she did. She liked it a lot. Did Erica and her sister go to Colorado? No, they didn't. They went to Arizona. Okay, any two volunteers to practice question and answers? Any volunteer to practice this question and answer? If not, I'm going to choose someone. Any volunteer? Me, teacher. Thank you, Me, teacher. Walter. Walter and Alexis. So Walter, you are going to read the question and Alexis, you are going to practice with the answer. Thank you very much. You can start, please. Okay. I start. Me start. Yes. Did you have a good summer? Yes, I did. I, ha I had a great summer. Did you play volleyball? No, I didn't. Play tennis. Did Erica like her vacation? Yes, she did. She liked it a lot. Did Erica and her sister go to Colorado? Colorado. No, they no, they didn't. They they went to Arizona. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you very much, Walter and Alexis. That was a very, very good job. Thank you. Any other two volunteers to practice saying this question and answers? 
who wants to practice? It's time for you to practice. Any volunteer? Hey, I would like to, to practice, teacher. Thank you, Isidro. Thank you, Jonathan. So let's listen, Isidro and Jonathan. Isidro, the questions, and Jonathan, the answers, please. Okay. okay. Jonathan, are you ready? Okay, do it. Did, okay. you have a good, uh, did you have a good summer? Yes, I did. I had great summer. Did you play volleyball? No, I did. No, I did. I played tennis. Did Erica her? Uh, did Erica like? Did Erica like her vacation? Yes, she did. She liked a lot. She did liked Erica? A lot. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. Did Erica and her sister go to Colorado? No, they. I didn't. They went to Arizona. Pretty good. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. That Thank was you. pretty good. Thanks a lot. Very good. Thank you very much. Now, how do you pronounce these? Didn't. 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 No, I didn't. No, okay. I didn't. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Very no, good. I didn't. And don't, don't forget about this, right? This is a regular verb. What is the pronunciation? With D, with it or with the sound? Oh. Play. Played. Played. And Played. what about like? Like it. Like it. Light. 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 With T. Light. It's with Light. T sound. It's with T, T sound. sound. Yes. So Light. don't forget Light. about the structure. Don't forget about the structure of simple past yes, no question. Auxiliary did at the beginning of the question, subject. In this case, it's Erica, the verb in present and complement in the question mark. Don't forget about that structure. Mm -hmm. Simple past, yes. Okay, now let's practice. Tom, buy a new house last month. What is the right past form of the verb buy in this sentence? One, Bye. two, or three. Is it bite? Is it bought Balu. or has Better bought? Uh, number, number two. Number two. Balu. Okay. Yes, you're right. It's number two. Yes. What about exercise Balu. B? It's a negative sentence. She not understand the question yesterday. Three. She didn't. Uh, one, two, or three. Yes, three. Letter one. Three. One. Number one. Number two. Number three. 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 Three is the right ah, answer. Three. Letter three. Number three. Three. Didn't. Number three. Stand. She, she didn't. didn't understand. Understand. She didn't understand the question yesterday. Yesterday, because he's speaking about. Past tense, did it? Yes, it's a negative sentence in past tense, yes. Uh, let us see, exercise C, Fred. I'm sorry, my friend. Say a lot okay. of picture on his holiday last Number summer. One. Took. Number one. one. Number two. one. one. Excellent. One. Okay, too easy for you, right? Fred to Fred a lot of picture of of his holiday picture. last summer. Now, oh, yes, teacher, because we are learning yeah, right. No, and you are doing very good. Estos ejercicios no les hacen ni cosquilla, you say. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Exercise no, B. <laughs> 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 and let's see. Letter D. Exercise D. What One for goal. your birthday? ¿Qué te dieron para tu cumpleaños? Number three. Number, Number three, three yes. What did you get for your birthday? And the next one, letter E. Where, number, two. Number, two. You go? Number two, where did you go? Where did you go? Excellent. Number two, where did you go last weekend? Where did you go last weekend? And then you say, I went to, I went to the supermarket, I went to the park, I went to the beach. 
and so on. So F, the last one, I want to buy that computer, but it was too expensive. Number three, I want. Okay, I want it, excellent. I wanted to buy that computer, but it was too expensive. ¿Por qué no la compré? It was too expensive. It was too expensive, right? So not enough money to buy that yeah, computer. Because of, because of it was too expensive. It was too expensive, yes. Okay, now let's see, I have this conversation. Uh -huh. Uh, no, me. no. <laughs> can you see it? Yeah, I see. Yes. yes. Okay, yeah, I'm going to read it. It says, hi, Alice, what did you do last weekend? I did a lot of things. On Saturday, I went shopping. What did you buy? I bought some new clothes. I also played tennis. Who did you play with? I played with Tom. Did you win? Of course I won. What did you do after your tennis match? Well, I went home and took a shower and then went out. Did you eat in a restaurant? Yes, my friend Jackie and I ate at the good fort. Did you enjoy your dinner? Yes, we enjoyed our dinner very much. We also drank some wonderful wine. Unfortunately, I didn't go out this weekend. I didn't eat in a restaurant and I didn't play tennis. What did you do? I stayed home and studied for my test. Poor you. So what were uh, Alice's activities? What did, what did Alice do last weekend? Can you list Many things. her activities? Many things. Many things, yes. Many things. Many activities. Can you list some of her activities? Do you can want you, a list? Yes, can you list some, some of the activities that Alice did last weekend? She did play tennis? She played, she played, she played tennis. Yes. She played tennis. She played tennis, yes. Any other activity that? That she, she did. She bought she, new she clothes. Clothes. She bought new cloth. Okay. She bought very good. She bought new cloth. She drank some wonderful wine. Okay. She drank some wine. Wonderful wine. Any other? She took a shower. She took a shower. Okay, the last, the last, with the last activity that and she did last weekend. She ate dinner in a restaurant. She ate dinner in a restaurant. Very good. She ate dinner in a restaurant. And what about Robert? What did Robert do last weekend? He stayed, he studied for, he stayed at home and studied. He stayed at home and studied for his test. Thank you. Thank you very much. Very good. Let's go with names. Do you know the meaning of this verb? Go, clean, wash, stay, study, sing, dance, eat, get up, visit, and buy? Now, yes. Yes, all of them. Yes. <laughs> okay, now let's see. I have another question for you. Go, regular or irregular bird? When? Irregular. irregular. Go is an irregular bird. Yes. What about clean? Go. Clean? Regular. Regular. Thank you. What about wash? Regular. Regular. Stay. Stay. Regular. Study. Regular. Sing. Irregular. Dance. Dance. Regular. Regular. Eat. Irregular. Get up. Regular. Uh, regular or irregular. Get up. Irregular. Irregular. Visit. Get up. 
So release it. Regular. regular in the last regular. one. By irregular. Irregular, yes. Well, now let's see. Did you go to the movie theater last weekend? What is the right answer? Or what is a good answer? Did you go to the movie theater? Those yes, questions? I did. Yes, okay. I did. Yes, Those... I did. Excellent, excellent answer. Those questions are oh, for you. No, I yeah. didn't. No, you didn't. Okay. What about you, Alpha? Did you go to the movie theater? Last oh, weekend. I did it. And what about you, Mario Renato? Did you go to the movies last weekend? Yes, Renata? I did. No, Renata I didn't. Okay, let's go with the next one. What about you, Senia? Did you clean your house last weekend? No, Excuse did. me. Did you ah, clean? La yes. La siguiente you... semana sería, ¿verdad? Cuando no. dice la week. No, Entonces, es el fin ah, de semana, semana anterior. anterior. El fin de semana ah, anterior. Los que le, lo, lo que le había comentado. Solo que piense que hice sopa, pero era de frijoles blancos, pero no sé cómo decir frijoles blancos. Ah. Sería. White beans. Uh, White beans. beans. I get it. Sweet, sweet, sweet beans. Black wheat. ¿Cómo sería? Sweet, sweet <laughs> beans. Black beans. Ah, black beans. No, sweet, beans. sweet beans. Sweet, sweet beans. Frijoles dulces. Sweet beans, sí, I es guess. Que, como no podía decir sopa de frijoles blancos, dije sopa de pollo. En realidad sí cociné la sopa, pero ah. de frijoles blancos. Okay. Entonces, okay. Eh, Entonces la, estaría I, mal si decimos beans, white bean soup. soup. Why beans? <laughs> that is an interesting question, right? I know the name of Very those mal. beans. I like frijoles dulces in Spanish, right? So it must be uh, sweet beans. Sweet beans. Entonces sweet sería, beans. I cooking. Sería, I, I cooking um, soup. Uh, sweet beans. I cook. I cook, oh, yeah. I cook soup. Um, no. Soap. White beans. <laughs> I, I cook. <laughs> Okay, um, let's see. It is the right sentence. Is, I cook. I did cook. In past, I cook. In past, I cook. There are white beans or sweet bean soap. Ah. Sweet bean soap. Yes. Sweet bean soup. Sweet bean soap. Teacher, so, okay. Yes. Can we, me. can we say? Can we say to? Uh, for it, for example, in the case of my classmate. I did cook. I did cook. No, I did cook. Yes, I did cook. I uh, did cook a, a sweet beans soup. Is that it correct? Or I okay, eh, si I podemos, cook. Okay, listen. Si podemos utilizar esa estructura, pero cuando estamos haciendo un énfasis. Esa oración significaría yo sí cociné, haciendo énfasis en que sí lo hizo, como que estamos poniendo en duda ¿verdad? si ella cocinó eso. Okay. Entonces Afirmando. ella responde, entonces ella hace énfasis y dice I did cook, I did cook ah. bean soup. Ah, okay. Yo sí cociné. Okay. En ese caso sí podemos utilizar. Una entonces, respuesta simple, una rep la respuesta simple sería I cook. I cook, si no hay necesidad de hacer énfasis, you say I oh, cook. Okay, I, I cook, cook sweet bean soup. Beans soup. Yes. Sweet bean soup. Yes. Okay, now let's come back okay. to this. Did you clean your house? The question means, what is the meaning of this question? Did you clean your house? Tu casa? Did you clean your house? Yes. <laughs> Okay. Yes, I did. Oh, yes, yes, I, I did. did. Oh. Yes, yes, I, I did. did. Okay, excellent. Very good. Let's see the it's next working. question. Did you wash your car? Yes, yes I, did. I did. No, I, I didn't. No, no, I didn't. I didn't. Okay, let's go on the next. The next question. Did you study? Did you study English last weekend? No, 
I did. Yes, yes. yes I did. Yes, I did. <laughs> no, I did. Okay. It's la plataforma. Ah, okay. No, <laughs> Let's see the next one. Did you sing last weekend? No, I yes, I did. I did. No, you didn't. Did you dance last weekend? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, you didn't. Let's see the next. Did you eat? Yeah. yeah. Did you yes, eat pupusas? Did. <laughs> sorry, did you eat pupusas last weekend? <laughs> yes. Yes, I did. Oh, yes, you did. Once a time. Once a oh. time. Okay. Did you get up early last weekend? Yes, all day. Yes, I did. For, for, for my work. Okay. Uh, but about, but about yes, the, I did. the weekend? What about the weekend? Did you get up early on weekends too? Did yes. you get up early on weekends too? Okay. To, to, see, to can see the, the sunset. Eh, ¿Cómo se dice cuando el sol sale? Sunset or sunrise? Sun, sunset? Sunset. No, sunrise. Sunrise. Because I really like uh, the sunset part. Me gusta la puesta de sol en la mañana de un día domingo, hermoso, en la casa. Oh, okay. Con una tacita de café. Oh, very good. That sounds interesting. Okay. Y lo digo con propiedad porque en la mayoría de los casos nos levantamos temprano para ir a trabajar y nos vamos corriendo de volada. Pero el día domingo es el único día que tenés para contemplar un hermoso amanecer en tu casa con tu familia y que el sol se pone suavecito. ¿Sí o okay. no? ¿Quién está conmigo? Vaya, sunrise. <laughs> we are, we are, we are with you. We share your opinion. Okay? But sunset, listen, it's listen. much better on the beach. Oh, yeah. It's much better if you are on the beach. It's better on the beach. Yes. Yes. But sunset. Sunset, is, what did you? Sunset es la puesta del sol. Sunset. Sunrise. Ah, sunset. Sunrise es el amanecer. Sunrise. Amanecer. Sunrise and okay. sunset es sunrise. la puesta. El atardecer. Sunset. Entonces sería sun, sunrise. 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 Yes. In the I morning like, is sunrise. I like to see the sunrise every Sunday in my house. Okay, very good. Now let's go with the, the last question. The before the last right. question, did you visit your relatives last weekend? Did you visit yes. your relatives? Yes, we did. Yes, I did. Yeah. I yes, visited I did. my my mother-in-law. My mother-in-law. Okay. Cool. Uh, <laughs> it's important, right, to visit your family. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, did you buy groceries last weekend? Did you buy groceries last weekend? Yes. No, I did. Yes, we did. With my wife. Okay, perfect. Okay. Do you have any questions about how to use a regular and irregular verbs to make sentences? Questions? Any questions? Any questions? Okay. No, there are not. Okay, I have a question with you for you now. The difference between regular and irregular verbs. What is the difference between those verbs? Regular is um, how how to be. Uh, yes, you're right. So in regular verbs, we need to add ed to make the simple past tense. In regular verbs, you don't have any rule. You have to learn them from a list, right? You can get a list on internet if you want another one. I have already sent it one to you. Ya les envié una, ¿verdad? Busquen en el grupo de WhatsApp. Ahí está. Y tiene los verbos más, más usados, ¿verdad? El verbo son muchísimos, pero con paciencia, ¿verdad? Cinco verbos diarios, eh, diez verbos a la semana. So, you are going to learn them. 
So try it, try it. Okay, birds are important. Los verbos son muy importantes, right? Okay, so time is in conclusion. You speak in Spanish? En conclusión, para, para eh, utilizar los verbos irregulares, hay que aprendernos una cierta lista, por lo menos de los más comunes. Ah, así es. De los verbos irregulares, porque como esos son propios, no cambia su estructura. ¿no? Y, uh, cada verbo tiene su propia forma en el pasado, entonces forma. Um, solo okay. aprendiéndonos uno por uno, ¿verdad? memorizarlos uno por uno. Y los más usados son como 100 nada más. En cinco días ya se los puedo. <risa> <risa> ok. Ok, so thank you very much. Palabra, sí. <risa> you can do it. I'm sure that you can. I'm sure yeah. that you can. So okay. thank you very much for being here with me tonight. Thank you. Have, have a good night. See you tomorrow. Good night, everybody, Good my friends. Okay, bye bye. bye. Mañana. See you. Good night. Mañana, mañana gana la selecta. Yeah. <laughs> mañana. Se conectan del estadio play? para ver el partido. ¿Contra quién juega? Canadá. Desde allá vamos a estar viendo la clase. Canadá. Los canadanos les gusta pegar a los salvadoreños. Los canadienses <laughs> son enojados. <laughs> Okay. Ya no les pegamos a ellos. <risa> Hay veremos, que apoyar nuestra selección. Veremos mañana qué tal nos sí. va contra Canadá. Buenas noches. So, bye Desde bye. el televisor les vamos a estar haciendo así. Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, bye. bye, bye. bye, bye.